Well, on this day after the election, state legislators announced hearings aimed at reviewing the law that set yesterday's recall vote in motion. A, a short time ago, I spoke with Assemblyman Mark Berman. Earlier today, he and State Senator Steve Glazer put the wheels in motion to review the 110-year-old recall law. I'm worried about the fact that our society has gotten so polarized and the threshold for putting a recall on the ballot is so low that it creates an opportunity where this could happen on an annual basis. According to Assemblyman Mark Berman, the general complaint he and fellow legislators are hearing from voters is that under the current recall system, a governor, Democratic or Republican, can be recalled and replaced by somebody who got less votes than the governor got. And, and that just strikes everybody as, as a remarkably undemocratic process. Um, and, and so I think it's important to start this conversation now. Berman tells me there would be joint legislative hearings starting as early as next month. With the goal of hopefully coming up with some consensus reforms to the recall process that can be introduced in January. He says there will be bipartisan experts, a look at how other states handle recalls, and explore if the 12% threshold for signatures is too low and the time for signature getting is too long. And then the voters, you, would get to voice your opinion. Most substantive reforms to the recall process will need to be approved by voters. Uh, and, and so the legislature, by a two-thirds vote, we can put something on the ballot, and then that would have to be approved by a, a simple majority vote of California voters, either at the 2022 general election or possibly at a later election. Assemblyman Berman says when the uh, hearings begin, they will make sure it's digitally available online so all Californians can watch from home and participate. Alex Christine.